Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and to another edition of Handheld Recap where I take a look at handhelds that I've unboxed or just basically looked at in the past. What have I got for you this time guys? Well, I've got the Go Pocket Gamer by My Arcade. Now, My Arcade have done some awesome, awesome mini arcades in the past. And I'll tell you what, this handheld, after having it for quite some time, guys, is still a little gem. It really, really is. Now, I've got two of these. I've actually got a boxed one. And then I bought this one from Cash Converters. Oh, ages ago, guys. Just so that I could, uh, yeah, not use my nice boxed one as often. I thought I might as well pick it up. I got it for a good price. I do believe about £5. And, uh, yeah. I enjoy having both very, very much. Once it's on the shelf and doesn't get much use, obviously it goes boxed. And then I've got this one. It's a bit uh, scratched up and what have you. Very uh, heavily used, obviously, but it's still a gorgeous little handheld. It really is. Very, very fun. Now, they're all supposed to be sports oriented games on here, but that isn't quite true. Not really. There is some other things on there as well. But let's take a look at the quality of this thing, because I tell you what, the quality of it is actually brilliant. You press it, you don't, you know, it's not cheap and nasty, let's put it that way. There's no little creaks and what have you. And uh, yeah, it's got a, quite a small screen considering the size of the handheld. But it's interesting, it's a fingerprint magnet anyway, as well as all the scratches. And um, yeah, A and B. Or should I say B and A, A and B, there we go. And then you have your uh, directional, which is actually quite comfortable for something that is basically rubber. And uh, then up here, guys, you've got a reset, and you've got a start, I do believe, yeah, start and reset. And then you've got a speaker down here, which is a mono speaker, but it's actually quite cool. But look at this, guys, look at that. You see what I mean about a fingerprint magnet? It is, unfortunately. And then this side, guys, You've got absolutely nothing. On the top, you've got your power on. And this side, you've got your volume. So that's quite cool that you actually have the volume at all. On the bottom, you have a headphone jack, which is cool that you got that. Then around the back, guys, you've got basically just the battery cover. And there we go, guys, and go game of portable. So I said it wrong earlier, didn't I? Oh, what a plank. Yeah, it's Go Gamer Portable. And uh, yeah, from my arcade, gaming.co.com, all that crap. You know what I mean. Anyway, let's turn this baby on and have another look at it. Now let's get the screen in so you can actually see something of it. You can see it's actually called the uh, Family Sports 220 in 1. But like I said, they're not all sports games. Listen to that funky music. Right, so <laughs> stop dancing and uh, yeah, go in. So you can see here, guys, you've got tennis, you've got golf. So yeah, you have got a lot of sports titles, guys. You've got baseball, you have table tennis. Bowling, you've got darts, you have basketball, you have boxing, you've got trampolining, seriously, you've got fishing, ice hockey, curling, and then you've got something that's not very sportsy at all, isn't it? Eh? City Battle, which is a shooting one. We're going to go back to that one because that's actually very cool. And you've got Crazy Mortal, which is a racing game, of course. And you've got Run. Yeah, I think it's pretty much in the description. Now that one's probably not going to be that exciting, isn't it? Then you've got fencing. Swim. You've got racing. Looks like a Mario Kart style game, that one. And you've got mini fighter. 
that is definitely not sports. And then you have educational. Mm. I bet that's the first section every child goes for. Not. Then we have mini game. Mm. That's an interesting one. Yeah, background to tennis guys. But uh, yeah, let's go back this way, shall we? And uh, take a look at mini fighter, for instance, shall we? So you get a choice of characters, which is nice. That's quite cool. Who should we go for? The first one there. Yeah, let's just go for the first one. There we go. I tell you what, the graphics are pretty damn fine on this thing. It has to be said, apart from I'm dying very quickly here. Oh, God, yeah, get a Come on, you cow bag. Come on, die. Don't let her get that bloody charge on. There we go. She's a powered up babe, this one, isn't she? Yeah? Sorry about the light getting in the way. Unfortunately, as usual. Am I winning here? I think I might be. It's got some good movement on it this, uh, for a fighting game. On a little cheap portable like this. The music's pretty good. You have got, obviously, a volume. <laughs> You know, volume buttons on the side so you can turn it up or down as much as you like. But I think this is enough for the purposes of this video. Oh, we've nearly got our got a look, and she's kicking my ass again. Let's keep going. That is pretty damn cool fighting game, to be fair. Pretty cool. But we've got Ender now, come on, because she's going to beat me otherwise. Well, that's pretty obvious, I'm kind of. So this is fighting game. Nursing the machine. There we go, did it. Did I? Oh, I thought I killed her. Oh, yeah. Shit. Come on. Here we go. Come on, let's just end it now. Come on. Yeah, we did it. We got her. Cool. That's great. Obviously, you just press restart. And that takes you back in. There we go. And then you can go back here. And I'll tell you what, guys, we're going to take a look at these weird ones there. Uh, mini game, let's see what this is. Oh, so you've got puzzle, you got action, so there's a ton of other games there, guys. you got sports. Wow, you, you've got tons of stuff there, guys, when you're going to hit. So look, you've got all these here. Move box and all that kind of gubbins. Now we've got parking lot, dog. Not dogs. Rolling box and all that. Yeah, very, very cool. So that's cool. You go into that bit. And you get the mini games and what have you, all sorts of other games. But yeah, let's go back in and take a look at the educational ones because, you know, like I said, every child's going to be racing for that. So you got all the usual gubbins here, look, and uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and all that. Yeah, they come straight back out. But you can see you got a lot of games there as well. Back in. It's a shame you've got to do this every time. There's probably a quicker way. I've just forgotten what it is. Right. Now we're going to go over to a really cool one. And that is this one here. That's just called Racing. But it's like Mario Kart. Go. Come on, you bagger. And I'll tell you what. It's surprisingly fun. You see, it's not as uh, <laughs> not as good as Mario Kart, but like, you're even collecting bloody coins. I mean, come on, we're not aiming at Mario Kart at all. Other than there's your weapons. Look, you can pick your weapons up, so you got all that, and you can keep on shooting them. He says he thinks. Been a while since I played this. So I can't remember how you would do your weapon. Because B is break, and ooh, I just smacked into whatever the bloody hell that is. Ugh, that's not me right back, isn't it? Not that I was doing well anyway. But yeah, fourth place, that's not very good, is it? There's probably only four people. <laughs> so I'm last. Oh, and then you hit each other like that. And there's a bloody banana skin. Yes, this is Mario Kart, guys. Definitely. 
Come on, you sod. Get away. Let's play that. That's break, so how do you fire, right? Eh? Hmm. That is a good question. Because you're definitely picking up stuff. I mean, you're picking up the coins. Maybe you're not picking weapons up. Maybe I was uh, in Dreamland there thinking it was more advanced than it really is. You can see, guys, these games are your usual. Um, well, not usual, because they're actually better quality than the usual kind of uh, Korean made type uh, ROM that's stuck on one of these machines with all the different games within the ROM. And um, this is actually a little bit better than that. Um, but yeah, it, it, they are made, obviously, ground up in some, whether it's in China or if it's in Korea in one of those types of countries. Um, but yeah, pretty cool there. Eh? Right, let's come out again. We're going to take a look at one more. Let's go back in. Because I want to show you. I know you're all shouting, it's supposed to be a sports one, you haven't done any sports games. Well, yeah, I did. In a way, it was a racing game. Come on. Um, let's have a look. Where's it gone? Come on, you bugger, where are you? That's the one I want to show you. This is a pretty cool shoot em up. Now, if you've been around my channel a while, you know how much I love shooting ups. Right, here we go. Let's go for it. And it is a pretty cool one, guys. And I mean that sincerely, it is pretty cool. Although quite hard to see on the small screen, but it's uh, surprisingly good. It's a basic one. Of course, you're just shooting everything in freaking sight, including the tanks there. But yeah, the light's getting in the way again. Oh dear, stupid light. Oh, they got me. But you can see, guys, the, the graphics are pretty stunning. You know, it's the same old thing over and over again, I presume. You know, the buildings in the background, what have you, but it looks pretty stunning for what it is. This is a very, very cool thing. Oh, they're going to blast my ass. Of course, you do get power ups. Um, they come very infrequently, considering. Oh, I'm dead. Let's get a tank. Can I get a tank? Yes, I did. Oh, no, you got me as well. There's a... more ships coming your way. There's certainly endless enemies here. And of course, every time you get one, it puts your score up. Come on, you bugger game. That's it. Look, there's a power up there. Whether I get it in time or not. Oh, I did. I got it. Yeah. But nothing seems to really happen. Oh, there we go. That's cool. I like that. Maybe that's... Oh, one. Is that all you get? Ugh. That's annoying. But yeah, let's keep going here. Yeah. It is a pretty cool game, guys. As you can see. Not that I'm doing very well. That bloody uh, light getting in the eyes all the time. Yeah, that's annoying. Just that. Oh, look, there's a tank again. Let's get him. Cool, yeah. So... You can see, guys, this is a pretty smart little thing. Like I said, I'm sure there must be a better way of getting back on the menu. Press bloody restart every time is a bit annoying, but I tell you what, it's a quality product. It's nicely made. And I love it that these buttons actually light up. You might not be able to tell. So shall I show you by turning off the lights? It is now dark. And as you can see, guys, yeah, not only do the buttons light up, A and B, but the uh, start and reset light up as well. And then you've got the My Arcade symbol at the bottom that lights up as well. So it's pretty cool. And then you've got a nice bit of uh, light bleed coming through the headphone socket and a bit of the casing. But, I mean, the headphone socket there might well be uh, done on purpose. But yeah, pretty damn cool. Look at that screen. The screen is quality on this, guys. Makes you wonder how they can afford to put a screen like that into a cheapish device. But yeah, I thought I'd show you that, guys, because it's pretty awesome looking, isn't it, eh? With those lights on, it certainly is wicked. Right, back in a minute. Yeah, so all in all, guys, this is a pretty good thing. Still, after all this time, and owning two of them, I can highly, highly suggest you get one if you come across one. A uh, couple of downsides is that it is a fingerprint magnet and gets scratched very easy. 
Uh, other than that, guys, really, only that uh, it's a mono speaker. It's a shame it wasn't a, you know, a stereo unit, but then for the price, I suppose it wouldn't be. It is my arcade's quality again. I can't really say anything else negative about it. The buttons are comfortable enough, even though these are very slidey, but they are comfortable. Um, they don't grate your fingers. You don't feel like you've been using a cheese grater. So yeah, this is quite nice. It's got a nice bit of grip to it. It's in a way, it's a shame that they didn't use the same kind of material for the A and B, but they wouldn't light up then, would they very well if they did? I do like that lighting up business. I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, all in all, guys, I'm very, very pleased with this still after all this time. Very cool machine. You can still buy them. Uh, get on to the usual websites. Game occasionally had them in in the past, but I don't think they do anymore since they've been uh, all redone again, guys, since the uh, you know, Sports Director or whoever it is bloody owns them now. Um, but yeah, it is definitely worth picking it up. It is cool. But guys, let's turn it off. What do you think of it? Have you got one? Do you play on it quite heavily? And, of course, if you haven't got one, will you get one? That is the thing. Yeah, it is a pretty cool thing and I enjoyed doing this recap. Yes, I didn't look at many sports titles there whatsoever. Um, because I wanted to show you something a bit different. So yeah, guys, you know what to do. Comment away and let me know your thoughts on this little handheld from my arcade yeah with that i'm going to wrap things up and i'm going to say the usuals if you're not subbed already please drop me a sub give me a thummy thumbs up if you feel that way inclined and of course tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever and again guys if you love all this retro goodness because that's what it is really isn't it? it's a bit like a yeah, kind of like a Wii with a lot of the games because you do actually uh, do it from that perspective where um, you don't actually see yourself, like tennis and what have you. You just hit the ball and you don't actually see your character. So yeah, very much like the Wii in that sense. Um, but yeah, if you love all that retroness and emulation, they've got a fantastic group here on Facebook. It's the Retro Emulation and Console Fan Group. And with over 5,000 members, guys, you cannot go wrong. Lots and lots of like-minded people there to banter with. Tons of content from system unboxing, system reviews, emulation performance, tech help videos, and a whole lot more. And the world's greatest admin team to boot to sort out all your woes. So yes, guys, it is linked below. Head over. We'd love to see you. Then guys, I also have my UK Crack Gaming Facebook group as well. We'll cover everything gaming, from the dawn of gaming right the way through to PS5 and everything that came in between. And again, lots of lovely members to have a banter with. Tons of content because other YouTubers put their videos up there every single day, including myself, of course. So yeah, if you just love gaming from all the different periods of time, that is the place to be. Also linked below. And then guys, I have to tell you, I have a second channel. If you love fantasy, things like wizards and dragons and fairies and unicorns and God knows what else, maybe you remember Tudor Mint. Tudor Mint were a British company that were absolutely fantastic. They made metal statues, figures, whatever you want to call them, of uh, all sorts of different things, guys, but they had a whole line called Myth and Magic where they covered things like dragons and so on. Now, if you've been around my channel for a long time, you've probably seen some of my shorts. And uh, yeah, I've now decided to launch a whole Tudor Mint channel. It is called Tudor Mint Collecting with UK Crow. And on there, guys, there is already quite a few uh, videos for you to enjoy. So yeah, if you love that, guys, 90s, Mm, myth, fantasy, that type of thing. Collectibles, that is the channel for you. Get over there, guys. It'll be in the description, the link to take you there. And uh, yeah, why don't you drop me a sub and a like if you enjoy what you see there. Right, and then, guys, at the very end of all of this, I have my channel membership. For as little as 99 pence a month, you can become a member of the UK Crowd family. This will give you access to the members-only videos. It will also 
get you a badge next to your name that changes colour every month and lets everybody know that you are a member of the UK Kraut family. There's other tiers with other perks attached guys, so if you just find the join button, head over, take a look and see what you think. And with that, I'm going to say Auf Wiedersehen, tschüss and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one guys, bye bye.